Hey, it's Mike. I am not an investing guru. I'm an average guy sharing my investment journey on the internet. In today's video, we're going to talk about investing in a $20,000 new margin position in QDTE. So in doing so, we're going to go through the Robinhood browser, and then we're also going to go through the new spreadsheet that I created for it. As you all know on this channel, or at least or some of you may not know, I borrow money. And what I do is I borrow against my really good foundational holdings, and I borrow money into, I borrow money into income funds. We're going to flip over to this page. So I primarily invest in Tesla because I believe it is the most, has the highest risk adjusted returns. But this strategy can work if you invest in the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, or whatever high quality holding you want. You can have Apple, you can have Nvidia, you can have Johnson Johnson, whatever you want, that can be the foundation. So my $147,000 position allows me to borrow money. And when I borrow that money, I borrow it and buy these things called income funds. So I use 20% of this. So if you take 20% of 147,000, I really did it off 200,000, but it allowed me to borrow $37,000. And what I do is I invest in income funds. So what I look for in the type of income funds I invest in is if they pay more than 25%. So the two income funds that I currently invest in are Tesla and QDTE. So Tesla has about a 50% payout and QDTE has about a 30% payout. This pays every month, this pays every week, and that's one of the reasons why I picked QDTE as well as it's a little bit more diversified than investing in TSLY. So I have about $37,074 borrowed, which is plus or minus 20% of my overall portfolio. So again, on the channel, the goal is to borrow at 8%, get paid over 25%, and that is what we do on this channel. Um, I mentioned this in my last Tesla video, but I just increased my temper. 10% portfolio value and margin to 20%. And I just wanted to show you guys the differences in what the margin maintenance is. If you don't know what margin maintenance is, is if your portfolio value goes below this value, it starts, uh, the brokerage will start rapidly selling your assets to cover the margin amount. So I have a 10% amount, my margin maintenance is 61,000, or let's just say 62,000. And at 20%, it was 66,000. And then I just checked this morning, which came down to 53,000. So I increased my margin portfolio amount by 10% and it went down. But I believe that's because my portfolio, overall portfolio value has gone up. So in adding this extra 20K in margin, what I was able to do is I was able to diversify my income holdings. So instead of solely focusing on a income investment that sells covered calls on Tesla, I'm investing in a income asset, income investment that sells covered calls on the NASDAQ 100 on a daily basis, which pays out every single week. So it allows me to get an extra five, $600 worth of income. Okay, moving on. So, you know, we talked about the overall strategy and I always like to show what I do because I think there's a lot of people on the internet that will just write sticky notes and talk about how much money they have and things like that. I will actually show you what I have. So just look at what we talked about, Tesla as the foundation of holdings. This position is worth about, $148,000. And this is my Tesla position, but this video is not about Tesla, it's about QDTE. So my overall portfolio amount is $20,762 with a total return of minus $12.52. So this week it was oscillating between positive and negative. So I'm still down about $12.52, but the payouts have been pretty nice. Nice thing about um, this fund is it has a 25% margin. Uh, I'm not gonna go over all the different holdings, but let's just talk about the last dividend here. So last, the week prior, my weekly dividend was $144.98. This week's dividend was $174.99. As you can see here, I had 467 shares, which paid me 37 cents a share, which paid me $174.99. The thing that I like about this fund is it'll, it pays weekly distributions and man it is so nice i mean i always get excited about payday my normal job imagine getting a check every single week from this fund like that is fantastic moving along uh, let's go to the investing profile as you can see here so my margin news is about 20 percent of my overall portfolio so thirty-seven thousand forty-five dollars and 74 cents is the current amount as you can see here this are my all my total returns I'm still down in Tesla, still down in Yield Max, but they will recover and we will be positive in the future. And then this is just that QDTE. 
Now, the thing I really like talking about is this, this section right here is the, the margin section. So I technically can use $358,000 with the margin, but that would be reckless to be using that amount of money. So what I like to do is only use 20% of my overall portfolio value and margin, 10 or 20%. I used to say 10%, I bumped it up 20%, especially knowing how this margin works and that the margin maintenance doesn't really get too affected if you put into 25% margin maintenance names. So again, margin used, current margin maintenance, so 53,473. And my yearly interest rate went down. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, well, that's great. So go back down, uh, margin maintenance, 53,473. So my portfolio value would have to go down to $53,000. So the lowest my portfolio has ever gotten is 118,000. So it would have to cut in half to get that. But by the time that does happen, I should have gotten decent amount of payments so that I can cover the, mar the ma margin amount. Okay, move along to the spreadsheet. So this is the new QDTE spreadsheet here. Um, between my Tesla and QDT, I actually got rid of the section that has like portfolio boost and monthly income. I, I just think it was taking up too much space and there was just a lot going on on the spreadsheet. And I think sometimes to optimize things, you have to delete things. So this QDTE, let's just start here. So actually, I, I'm going to talk about week 19 because I did not talk about last week's distribution. Um, so you can see here price paid, margin amount. As you can see here, I used 100% uh, of 100% of the margin amount is that, so there's not enough time for the reinvestment to um, build a position outside of the margin. Uh, so gross income, 144, expenses, taxes, reinvestments, and your net gain. So after doing everything right, I'm set aside $31.91 this week. This week here, as you can see here, price paid, margin amounts, the margin is going down, so it went down by 4%. Total amount, expenses, this was off 8%. This is now off to 6.75%. And then um, you can see the reinvestments, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is when Tesla does their payout, the there should be about four weeks worth of stuff here. Then I will actually do the reinvestment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep all these uh, distribution payments in cash. And then um, once I have the Tesla payment, then I'm going to actually do the reinvestment because like putting in $43 divided by Tesla, Tesla, and QDTE, QDT only allows you to buy full share, so um, you wouldn't even have enough to buy it. So just throwing that out there, it's so like what I'm going to be doing is like I'm going to wait till the end of the month or whenever Tesla pays out to actually purchase these. So these are just going to sit in cash in my account. Um, but besides that, hopefully this video helps motivate you to you know build a side stream of income without using your own money, and hopefully this allows you to um, obtain some financial independence for your family. So if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to drop them in the comment section. I will try getting to you guys as fast as I can, but I've been busy moving houses, working, and all types of life things. So y'all take care, have a good one, and um, good luck on your passive income journeys.